Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now in this video we're going to unbox this little package that I've received. I've had it for quite a while now and obviously I do know what's inside of this thing. And that was because I wanted to make this video after I've introduced the solder pass dispenser to you guys. Because this is going to be the air compressor that we are going to use to feed the solar dispenser with air. So let's unbox it. There we go. So as I said, air compressor. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is a 250 psi or 300 psi one. I do think that 300 psi is quite high for such a device but we'll see so it's a 12 volt thing thingamajing and I can see that it's a 300 psi labeled compressor and my solar dispenser only goes up to 150 psi so yeah 20.7 bar now I do think that that's quite uh, generous to have it labeled like that now the idea was to actually remove this from the compressor and create something that it would fit on my solar paste dispenser or maybe the hose of the solar paste dispenser will fit into that little socket so let's actually test it because it yeah but I don't think it's an airtight fit But something is actually happening. So we might just give it a try, turn it on and see what happens. So what's this for design? I mean, you've got the wire coming out of the bottom. And then they didn't leave a cutout for the wire. <laughs> oh, they did, but they just didn't route the wire through. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, well, I think we can solve that relatively easily. So now it has the ability to stand up like this. It's nice that you've got a gauge with the pressure reading. So let's grab some leads and let's power this thing up. So it runs on 12 volts. So let's use my lap bench. I suppose to be used inside of cars, so center positive. Curious if there's a fuse inside of here actually. No, there is no fuse inside of this thing, which doesn't really surprise me. So let's turn it on and see if we get an increased pressure. Wow, <laughs> that makes a lot of noise. <laughs> so let's hold my thumb on the output. So I don't think that it's building pressure. I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. Well, I suppose there's a piston inside of here that... Can I see this? Yeah, we can see the thing moving, but it's not building pressure, so... Oh, you can see the membrane inside of here. But it's not moving. So we got to take it apart to see why it isn't moving. It sounds like it's not building vacuum in order to pull the air in, but let's see. It's always the question with these products if they are actually going to work. Well, it runs, but I don't think that this is going to produce any pressure at all. But we'll see. So this should be the final screw. Like that. Now we can supposedly just lift this off. Yes. If all the screws are... There we go. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, that will most certainly not produce 20 bars of air pressure. I'm quite certain that that is not how it's going to work. So we can power it on like this and you'll see how this thing works. So yeah, this is not going to work. So I got myself a nice whoa. Damn, it's only a single strand that's holding this wire together with the motor. So I think I got myself a nice little motor, but this will most certainly not produce any pressure. All right, so let's go for. 15 volts No, no air pressure at all So now my whole room smells like brushed DC motors, but that's okay. As I said really nice ornament uh, This won't work. So if you do know a Good working air compressor that I can use for this uh, solar paste dispenser experiment uh, Please do let me know because I'm Obviously, still looking for one. I was hoping that this uh, would solve the issue, but it clearly doesn't. So, if you have one, please uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. So, again, if you have got a solution, please let me know down below, and I will try to uh, see if that looks like it could work. So, thanks for watching this rather short video. I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them. And don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.